welcome back to our channel and today i am going to make a taco dessert for taco tuesday Woo -woo. and i'm going to be making a cheesecake apple pie and strawberry taco and in our ingredients today we have vanilla powdered sugar heavy whipping cream cream cheese granny smith apple lime lemon street taco flour tortillas some water we have cinnamon sugar have some cinnamon, I mean, some sugar, some strawberries, some butter, and then we just have like our piping bag for the cream cheese, and we'll need the muffin pan for our taco shell. So, it's everything we need for our dessert tacos. So, let's get started. All right, so first we're going to make our filling um, because the, the filling that I'm make is, making is going to take 30 minutes to set. So I wanna make that first, put it in the fridge so it can cool, and then we'll do the fruit. So I'm gonna start with my cream cheese. I did try this recipe before, not this particular recipe, but this um, dessert taco before, but I had used the pre-made cream cheese and I didn't like it. It was just, the flavoring wasn't it for me. So, it was the, the cheesecake cream cheese from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just, it just didn't, it just it didn't, didn't do it. hit the same. Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad, like, but it, I know the way that, the flavoring that I want for it, it just wasn't there. All right, so I'm gonna add some heavy cream. Some vanilla, which I know the ingredients will be in the description below. And then I'm gonna add some lemon zest just to give it a pop of flavor. And I'm gonna save the lemon juice for my apple. All right, now I'm gonna add some powdered sugar. I like to sift my powdered sugar so that does it get clumps, leave clumps in the mix? I'm gonna just start with this for now so it doesn't go everywhere. And I'm just gonna beat it with the mixer here until it's smooth. Three, four cups. Always scrape your bowl, guys. Make sure everything is included. That's right. So we're almost there. Okay. I'm just gonna beat it for about another minute. Incorporated and it's 
really sweet. What I'm gonna do is add this to a piping bag and put it in the fridge so that it can set and be firm for enough for us to pipe into the tacos. So let me get the piping bag. All right, so here's my piping bag. And I'm gonna use a star tip just for the look. Um, you don't have to, if you don't have a piping bag, you can use Ziploc bag. It all works the same. So what I'm gonna do is just prepare my tip so that's already ready to go. Okay. Lift up. Lift up. No mess. Just twist the bottom so it doesn't come out. Twist the top. And I've seen people use like clamps or rubber bands to seal the bag. Um, I'm just gonna use the container and just hold it in there like that. And pop it in the fridge. All right, so you're just gonna give these a little chop. Um, just, see what you're about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, just cut them, just like, like basically to the squares, little small squares. So you just cut long ways. Okay. Um, that's a good size right there. And if you want them smaller than this, which I do, <laughs> so I want them like about this size. All right, so I, um, um, melting the butter right now. About to add the apples. I'm just gonna at least coat as um, the apples and the butter before I add the cinnamon and sugar. Get everything all coated. It's like the same basis of making an apple pie as well. As far as this filling goes. So good, guys. Smells even better. All we're gonna do is just let this cook, and you see how the the juices are coming out of the apples. That liquid is releasing. So what it'll do is create a syrup, as you see it's doing with that sugar as well. We'll just let this cook down for about. I say it's a small amount, so maybe about 20 minutes. And we'll check back and see how they look. So now while these are on, these take a little longer to to tender up for me. But that's basically what I'm going for. I want I need the apples to be tender and flavorful. So I'm gonna let that cook down. I'm gonna turn the heat down to like just a low heat so it doesn't burn. And then get started on the strawberries. For the strawberries, we're gonna dump those in here. Like that. Oh. Come on, come on. I'm gonna add some water and sugar to the strawberries. Just need a little bit of water. Because the strawberries also release their liquid as well. And then we're gonna add some sugar on top of that. Just so, and then just turn your water on to like 
a low medium and you'll do the same thing just let those cook down it doesn't take the strawberries won't take as long as the apples and then um, we'll just let that cool down all right so I did let my apples cook for a little bit and I wanted to add some lemon juice to them before they were they were done so I'm gonna go ahead and just squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in there just to kind of balance out the flavor from the sweetness and then just let that finish cooking all right, so our strawberries are boiling. This is a good sign they are ready to be crushed. So I'm going to just smash up the strawberries. Not too much, just enough to give me some chunks. And then I'm going to let it cook a little bit more so the sauce can thicken up. You can't see them now, but well, you probably can. Coming through there. They just want chunks. I don't want them to be like smushy, smashed, or anything like that. Just need some chunks so I can use it for the topping. So I'm letting it cook down a little bit more. I'm gonna let it cook down a little bit more until the sauce gets thicker than this. It's very loose right now. So just let that cook. And then our apples are almost done. Let's take a look at those. They're almost done there. Sauce is starting to thick up like how I want it. Allow it to cook a little bit more so it can thicken up. All right, in the meantime, we're about to prep our shells. Let's put them in the oven. All right, so now we're gonna prep the taco shell. And that's by um, taking just a tortilla, a little small tortilla, street taco tortilla. And you're gonna dip both sides into the butter, both sides into the sh cinnamon and sugar. And then we're just gonna fold them and place them into the pan like so. All right, so let's get that going. So I have the taco shells ready to be put in the oven. I did preheat the oven to 400 at the beginning of the video. And they're going to cook for about 10 minutes. And then um, we'll go ahead and fill them. All right, so the apples are done. So I'm let them cool off there. It's nice. Coated. So we'll let those cool off. And then let's check on the strawberries. Yeah, let me check this thickness here. Oh yeah. It's not just running off the spoon or the spatula. It's got to drip, so. See, these are done as well. And let this cool down. Yeah, those are good. All right, so it's gonna let this cool down. And then once the shells are done, we'll build our tacos. All right, guys, so we have our shells are finished. We have our cream cheese filling and our toppings, which is apple and strawberry. So let's go ahead and fill them up. Here it is, guys. You can top it off with some Cool Whip. They are so delicious. Well, it's a pretty easy recipe, as you saw. As Bree mentioned in the beginning, every all the ingredients, right, will be yeah, linked in the description box. And yeah. 
Tell us what you think. Taco Tuesday! Bam!